this video, we're gonna be learning how to make stained glass art with a professional stained glass artist. We will be learning seven skills and the two best performers each lesson will get a point. And whichever one of you gets the most points at the end of the class gets a huge advantage for tomorrow's competition where you get a win up to $10,000. Oh stained glass is going to be an extremely difficult medium to work with. So I'm curious to see how they will do. Also, the winner of this class gets a little surprise. You're gonna have to wait till the end. For the first lesson, we're gonna be learning basic cutting skills. We're gonna start by learning how to cut glass and we always work on old glass. You gotta learn to cut on them before we move to the really pretty stuff. All right, everyone gather up. Um, I'm not nervous. I think as long as you have common sense, you won't cut yourself. Working with glass can be very dangerous. So luckily for us, we're with a professional in a controlled environment. Don't try this at home. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a straight line. This is called the pistol grip glass cutter. And this does not actually cut the glass, it scores the glass. You wanna hear a little zipper sound. There we go. Ooh. These are called running pliers. That is what you line up with your score. So Whoa. Your that's so satisfying. Now we're gonna do a curve cut. So I'm gonna draw my line all the way across and hear that sound. Whoa, that's so perfect. Okay, so the third cut we teach in our classes is called the S cut. You've done a curve, let's just stick two together. That's all it is. We're just gonna draw a pretty line across there, just like a river. Just follow that line. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, that's so <laughs> What happens if I somehow cut myself? Then you push the goat. And then you get to choose your very own band-aid. I'm gonna get a lot of band-aids in this video. I think Catherine made it look very easy, but I think it's actually gonna be pretty tough. These goggles don't fit my lashes! I'm scared! Alright, everyone listen up. You will have four minutes to make the four different types of cuts. Your time has started. What's your technique, Jake? I'm drawing a straight line with a ruler. So what's some things you think they should focus on for this? Don't get rushed, don't get scared, don't be afraid of the glass. Keep the tool really steady and they'll be fine. But it turns out some of the artists weren't fine. Oh my god, I messed up! I messed up the first one! Joe, how do you feel? Boom, first cut, done. Oh, mine messed up! Oh, look at that! <laughs> Alright, you guys have a little bit more than a minute left. <laughs> no! on the top, flat on the top. Right now it seems like everyone's doing pretty well except for Jake, and I think it's no coincidence that Jake lost the cake art lesson as well. Very Jake, well. what is going on? I don't know! And then, it seemed like Jake was making a desperate attempt to get the attention off of himself. Mackenzie's trying to get rid of her line. She did not follow. She's trying to get rid of the evidence. No, Mackenzie, I didn't. No, you're racing. No, She's no, trying to get rid of the evidence. Look at that. Three, two, one. Everyone stop what you're doing. Now it was time to judge. Oh my god, I, my hands were so shaky. You didn't break oh. any? I yeah, didn't break no any. shatters. Yeah. Oh, I'm so proud. Nice Thank straight you. line. And then you got that piece out. Good job. Beautiful. That's the hardest one. You did. Good job. I think you cheated a little bit here. Okay. What are these? Glass. Wait, does this get points off if he cracked his glass? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Jake, it kind of looks like you threw it on the ground and picked up a random piece. Yeah, it was a disaster. <laughs> what? So that was the first lesson, and I guess my question for you is who are our top two performers? Oh my goodness, guys, I don't know. I think it's between these three. I think Ben got off of his lines a little bit, so I'd have to say David and Michelle. <laughs> David and Michelle, you both get a point. Oh, also, everyone, I forgot to mention, but whoever performed the worst in each lesson gets minus one point. <gasps> there, there, Jake, you'll be okay. Uh, no, she did worse. Look at that. What is that? All right, Catherine, who's it gonna be? No! Jake, Jake it's kick class all over again. I know, I'm getting flashback. Who performed the worst? I am gonna pick you because it was the saltiest. That was just the first one out of seven lessons. We still have a lot more to go. Can you just move on to someone else? We already know how I feel. Here's how he feels. Like a disappointment. Uh, okay. Are you David fans have been quiet for a long time, but they're here and they're vicious. No, the Ben fans must attack the David fans. Michelle fans! Kenzie fans! Jake fans, comment like you usually do. Jake should have won. For lesson number two, the contestants are gonna learn how to choose glass. After losing the first lesson, Jake came up with an idea. Last time I was in the back, which probably explains why I lost the previous lesson, so I'm gonna be right in front. Woo! When we're teaching classes, we call this the hardest part of the class, and that's choosing your glass. But before we get to that point, I want to tell you, and we call this water glass, because it looks like water, right? Are you guys able to see from all the way back there? <laughs> 
Be respectful, you're in class. I'm sorry, I'm paying attention. The piece you're gonna make today is all straight cuts. The piece in the middle is a bevel, and you have a pattern piece. Only one, because they're all four the same. So when you're coming over here to choose glass, think of what colors you want. This part of the class is difficult, but it's also a lot of fun. The artists then started to pick their glass, and it seemed like some of them were pretty confident. I want pink and teal, so it remind me of that whenever I see it. Look at this color combo. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> Do you feel that you're in your element right now? Oh, I'm always in my element. Come on, man. Ben is I'm in my element. I'm, I feel no pressure whatsoever. Zach, I'm freaking out. We're cutting this, right? Nope. I really liked this piece, so I picked colors that would go along with this piece. But I found a really cool iridescent piece and I gave it to David because I'm the best roommate ever. Right, David? Best roommate ever. Everyone got your pieces? Yeah. yeah. When you are starting your build, you're going to lay the pattern piece on your glass. You're going to trace around your pattern piece. Little do the artists know, everything that Catherine is about to say is information they'll need to remember. So I hope the artists are paying attention because they're about to get a little test. When we are assembling our piece today, we're using solder and copper foil. This is called the copper foil method. It's also called the Tiffany method. Lewis Comfort Tiffany perfected this method. It's a little history lesson on that. We're going to cut on the smooth side, not the bumpy side. Laying out your pattern, make sure you're able to cut straight lines all the way across. So you may be wondering what we're doing for the challenge for lesson number two. We're going to give you guys a history exam. Oh. <laughs> I hope you guys were paying attention to Catherine because she gave you guys a little history lesson on everything. Whoever gets the most accurate answer wins. And and whoever is the furthest away loses. For question number one, tell me what you know about water glass. Number two, define the Tiffany method. Get as in-depth and accurate as you can, and we're gonna have Catherine see who gave the best answer. I feel confident in my answer. I believe I paid attention quite well. I was right up front. So how do you think they're gonna do on the history exam? So they were paying attention. I could tell they were interested. I think they're all gonna do great. Yeah, I did terrible in history, but I think I remembered a couple things. The copper field method. Did I get that right? Copper foil method. Whoops. I was kind of paying attention. Bro, why is everyone's answer so long? I was a math major, not a writing major. Your time is up. Can you guys hand in your papers? Catherine, you can go ahead and start grading them. I have to warn you, I used to teach high school English. Oh, I'm so sorry, Catherine. Well, we have two spelling errors so far. How Wait, I don't want to look. Not bad, not bad. I guess I'm Dad, if you're watching this, whenever you walked into my room and I had my SAT book, I was actually just on my phone. My phone was inside my SAT book. Comment down below, Jake is the best English student ever. Oh. Right down, I have the scores. So with the highest score of 10, we have David. Really? Yeah. And with a score of nine, we have Mackenzie. Oh God. Oh. I had one spelling error away from a perfect score. Ooh. Big walk. Right, with a score of eight, we have Bye. Michelle. Oh, yay. So the last two are between Jake and Ben. Technically, according to these scores, you both failed. One person failed a little worse than the other. You guys can take a look. Oh my god, 10 out of 10? Wait, no, no, this was shards, not solder. S-H-A-R-D-S, yeah, shards. No, you wrote shard. <laughs> <laughs> what did Jake get? Five. Six! Oh god! It seemed like Jake wasn't happy about losing. Again. Oh, no, 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 I call it recount, recount. <laughs> Mackenzie, David, you both get a point. Jake, you are down to negative two. Zach is rooting against me. Put it down in the comments. I am losing, I and it's not my fault. No. Wait, we needed to get B-roll of that. Get B-roll of this. <laughs> to be fair, if I took this, I'd probably get like a three. My spelling and writing is terrible. Never been so happy to fail a quiz before. Yeah, I've never felt smarter. I'm so excited. Yeah. Lesson number three, you guys will be learning how to cut the actual art glass. David is in the lead with two points, which means you're in the lead to get the huge advantage, which is actually going to be Catherine's help tomorrow for an hour. Oh my god! Second place gets Catherine's help for 30 minutes. So you're gonna wanna get second place too. Jake, and if it makes you feel any better, there is a losing punishment. Which is what? Why are you gatekeeping it from me? You'll see, Jake. All right, everyone gather up for the next lesson. The next part is cutting this beautiful art glass. Now this is different from that clear glass that you cut. Art glass is colored. The different colors are made with different metal oxides in the glass. What do you think is the most expensive glass? The one with diamonds in it. Red, purple, pink, because they have gold in them. Oh. Yes. When you are laying out your pattern piece, you're going to take your marker, outline it, and then you're just going to do exactly what you did all the way across, not just on your line. Oh. Yeah, there's your piece. All right, everyone, do you guys have any questions before we begin the test? No! You guys have two minutes to cut a perfect rectangle. Your time has started. I don't know what's going on. 
know you are. I'm tired of being average. This is my round. <laughs> Okay. okay, Jake, looking a little more promising this round. I hope so. Okay, I did not hear the zipper noise. Hopefully that's okay. No, it's good douche. Ooh, Ben oh. is him. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, everyone, stop what you're doing. David, stop. <gasps> that was after the oh, time. David! There's no way I can get less than that. All right, Catherine, would you like to go around and take a look? Looking good here. All right, I'm taking the pattern piece. This is looking good. 90 degree angle here. We're a little off now. We're heading down here a little bit. Looking good on the long sides, the short sides. I'm not quite sure about it. Matches up real good, but I'm gonna flip it over. And actually, your glass is a little bit short. I really did not do that well. I'm not sure where to go with this. In the garbage. Do we have our two winners? And against all odds. Winner number one. Yes! Yes! Winner number two. Kids. No! Yes! And then who gets the negative point? <laughs> Thank you. Mackenzie, that means you're in the lead for Catherine's help and the yeah. surprise we have at the end. The surprise is like, like I'm know. not joking. It's, I, it's I really, know. really cool. It's know, really, really, it. really cool. So to recap, David's at one point, Ben's at zero, Michelle's at one point, Mackenzie's at two, and Jake's all the way back up to Ooh. negative one. Let's keep going. That was not my best moment, so I'm gonna try to come back and be right. ready. Yeah. Ben and I have been mid twice in a row. Uh, nope. These guys are listening to the instruction, but they're also working under pressure, and I think they're really doing great. And I really want Catherine's help, and I want the special surprise. Like I said earlier, working with glass can be dangerous, and you're about to find out why. Oh my god! Oh, I'm bleeding! Oh, I'm gonna bend it! Push it out! But I gotta say, this is not the reaction from David I was expecting. I can't believe David's smiling while his finger's just bleeding. I really am an underdog right now. <laughs> For lesson number four, Catherine is gonna teach all of you how to grind your glass. So let's start grinding. So the next part of the process is grinding. So everybody has their own grinder. These are not gonna hurt you. But it's going to make the glass smooth. Right now the glass is sharp, it could cut you. You're gonna lay it flat on your work table and just go straight across. All four sides, because you really don't want to cut yourself. You do, but no one else does. Now this piece is ground, it's smooth. Do all your four pieces this way, because the next step, we're gonna be putting the copper foil around it, and you're gonna be pushing on it with your fingers, and you don't want it to pop through and cut you, all right? So all of you guys need to grind your piece until it's perfect, and once you're done, raise your hand, Catherine will come check, and the first two people to finish win, and the last person to finish loses. Mine need to do a lot of grinding. I need this one, I need Catherine! Ready, go! No, oh, that was my spot. I need a ruler. How are you feeling? Catherine, this is hard. Once you think you're done, raise your hand. I'm almost done. I can't do that. You know what? I think I'm done. I just won my first points. We're looking good. And good. Yes, man, you're Woo! first. And some of the artists finished with no problems. Others weren't so lucky. Jake's the next one. Done. Yeah. 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 Jake's second. That's mine too. That's mine too. If any of you guys have to redo, that means you guys need to go back. Please be okay. Please be okay. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. okay. Mackenzie, you gotta go back. Ah. Oh, God. Uh, a little bit off. Here. Oh, no, Michelle. Oh, no. A little bit off. Oh, oh no, David. Oh. Oh, right. I just don't want to get lost. I don't want to lose the point. Okay, good enough. Yeah. Oh no, oh, no, David, you got more. Yeah. All right, Michelle, you need to be perfect here. Oh, All right. How are you feeling, Michelle? Nervous? Yay! Oh. No, Michelle, oh, my nice. gosh. Ben, Jake, you both get a point, and David, you lose a point. Oh. Comeback season! I didn't think grinding could be so intense. David started out strong, but it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. So right now, all the artists are just cleaning their glass. And just to recap the points, Jake, you are finally not in the negatives. Mackenzie is our leader so far at two points. Michelle and Ben are tied at one point. And David, losing this round brought you back down to zero. You got first twice, and then you got last, last twice. twice. I'm yeah. performing like my comments. They're either really, really good or really, really bad. <laughs> Hey everyone, I have an announcement. We are officially more than halfway through the lessons. Woo! And before we keep going, I want to tell you about our new plush space turkey. It's so cute! He's got a helmet that comes up over here. This is probably our cutest plush yet. It's very soft, it's very squishy. Think of it like a giant marshmallow. Michelle, squish it a bit. Okay, I love it! It's so soft and plump. Turkey. Yeah, instead of pillow fights now, you guys can have turkey fights. <laughs> when you drop it, it literally goes like, Three, two, one. 
And for this drop, I'm gonna be signing every single one of these space turkeys. Get the signed ones while they're still available. Make sure you go to zhcstore.com and get your space turkey now. Still have three more to go, so let's go to the next one. For lesson number five, Catherine is gonna teach you guys how to foil your pieces. And from what I've heard, this one's gonna be the most difficult lesson by far. So you've cut your pieces, you've ground your pieces, now you've cleaned them really, really good. Next up is the copper foil, and this is literally like metal tape. It's sticky on the back side, and this is real copper. You have to use this because the solder won't stick to glass. It has to have metal to stick to. And you're going to center one edge of your glass, push it along the outer edge, and then pinch it with your fingers. Overlap it, chop it, push it, and pinch it. Push out any wrinkles, any bubbles. Lay it flat on the table. Come around. Wow. Whoa! Nice. nice! That is foiling perfection. The artists on ZHC Crafts were not meant for precision and skill. We were meant for destruction. That is true. Now it's time for the challenge. You guys will have seven minutes to foil as much as you can, as perfectly as you can. And at the end of the seven minutes, Catherine will be the judge to see who did the best and who did the worst. Ready, go! This is very tedious. This looks good, actually. This looks real good. It sounds like this is probably one of the tougher ones. What do you think they should be focusing on? Getting that tape centered, the glass right in the middle of the tape to where it wraps both sides. Because if they don't, one side will be all fat and wonky, and the other side won't have anything for the solder to stick to. Do you think they're going to do well this time? We'll see. Nope. My foil just fell off of the thingy. Wait, Michelle, you should be good at foiling. Isn't that math? I am good at foiling and math. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stop everything you're doing. Jake, I've never seen you work this fast before. This is one of the first times I've ever seen Jake go fast at anything. Hopefully I can get a point. Hopefully I can get a point. All right, Catherine, you came just in time. They just finished. What I'm looking for is uniformity. These look great. And I'm also looking to see if the edges are flat. These are looking good. Yes! Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh yes! These look amazing. This one, I would... That one I didn't finish. Yeah, but you're close. Oh, you almost got done. This is almost. awesome. Almost. almost. It's not overlapping here. Oh. Take some of the copper foil and just do an overlay. We got almost finished, too. Look how even they are all the way around. Right. I'd say you're doing awesome. Ooh, it's really a little sense. thin here. Yeah. That means it's a little fat there. Yeah. Good job. Good. Well, who would you say came in first? I'd say Jake by landslide. Oh! That deserves two points! Uh, no, 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 no. Who would you say got second? I think that yours are a little bit tighter, and that would put you second in the shelf. Yes! Let's go! Now, Catherine, I do need to ask, who do you think just missed the mark a little bit? Their quality was about the same. I don't know. No, 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 don't say that, don't say that, don't say that. Tie for last? <laughs> two negative ones! I need to call in a second set of eyes. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. This is so close. I think we need to get a second opinion right now. And then yeah, over there. Oh, no. By a landslide. This is my downfall. This is my comeback season. Okay. Oh god, I don't like the sound of that. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> however, yours are smoother. <laughs> Mackenzie, I've never seen anyone so happy to get no points. Jake is officially at one wow. point. Mackenzie's at two. Ben's yeah. at two. So you guys yeah. are tied for first. Hello, crafts queen. Ben's always on your tail. Michelle, you're also at one. And David, yeah, you are at negative one now. You and David literally traded places. No. Yeah, I've won three in a row. And, no and Davis way. lost three in a row. I am feeling great. Did you guys hear that? By a landslide. David, you need to really grind these last two rounds out yeah, to make it. I need to win yeah. them both. Yeah, you need to win both of them. Or, David, even worse, negative three. Don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> up until now, the artists have only gained points from winning challenges. However, I came up with a little twist. All right, everyone, before we do the sixth lesson, I actually have a twist. On this piece of paper, I have a number written from one through five. If you guys guess this number, you get a point. Two. Three. Four. Five. five. What do I have left? One. Five, four, two, three. All right, the number I have written down is... What? Two! It's usually never two! So you get a bonus point, which makes Mackenzie in the lead now. Zach, you can't be doing that. This is ruining my comeback season. For this lesson, Catherine is gonna teach you guys how to solder. Quick little safety note. They're super hot. <gasps> it's 900 degrees. That could literally no kill all of us. It could. There's a soldering iron. Do not be afraid. Here's the solder itself. Flux. 
You have to have flux for the solder to stick, and that's rule number one. The first thing you're gonna do is see this beautiful 90 degree. You're gonna put your piece here. Wait, I didn't set mine up like that. <laughs> Yours is kind of exploded down there. We have to make sure that happens before the challenge. Everyone's got that so far. Yeah. What does solder mean? Oh, Michelle. Let me do a quick little demo. So I'm gonna take the piece that I showed you how to wrap, stick it anywhere, I'm get some flux on my flux brush. Using your solder and your iron. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my Whoa. God, it's sparkly. It gets hard immediately. Let me show you that something that's bound to happen. You melt it, this gets stuck in there. Please resist the urge to jerk on it. Just melt it off. Okay, I won't jerk on it. That's what she said. So do y'all feel good about tack soldering? So just one, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. All right, everyone, for this lesson, you guys are gonna solder and Catherine is gonna see who did the best. So start with your flux. Just paint those four corners of your bavel. Does that look cute? bubbly, you can put some more heat in there and just spread Wait, it Wait, will it like burn it? Kenzie getting the bonus point was not good because she's in first already. God, I was feeling good until Ken's got that extra point. That's huge. I don't want to lose this one. The artists were working down to the wire, having to be extremely careful while soldering. But to my surprise, they all ended up finishing. Even Jake. It looks like everyone's finished, so Catherine. Here we go. I got it really round, That's but my solder job's pretty round and smooth and gorgeous. It's pretty good. There's a few little bumps here and there, but it's a great first time. All right, everything is uniform, bumps here and there, but otherwise it's mostly smooth. Because of the copper foil being done, your lines look equal. That's great. Yay. Nice, we have nice equal lines. I see a little bit of copper peeking out there. It's nice and equal. I could tell there was a little gap here because the line is a little bit wide. Otherwise, most of your lines are really nice and Oh my goodness, this is gonna be really close. All right, Catherine, so it seems like everyone was pretty close yeah. for this one, but were there two that slightly outperformed? Ben? Yes! And actually, yours are smooth. <laughs> yes! What a comeback! I know it was really, really close, was, but we do need great. to choose one person that came in last. I think you're safe. David, I'm sorry. David! Whoa! So right now, Mackenzie and Ben are tied for first. Jake has two points, Michelle has one point, and David is at negative two. Type down below, Jake should have got that extra point. I know I'm not gonna win, but at least I'm not gonna lose. Everyone, so I spoke to Catherine, and she thinks all your pieces look amazing so far, and once you guys are completely finished, it's gonna be very hard to judge which one's the best. So, we're gonna do a test on how much you guys learned in today's class. No! And that's gonna determine the final points. So here is the final test. First question, what color glass is most expensive. I hope you guys are paying attention. Second one. When you scratch the glass with the cutting tool, it's called blanking the glass. Blank ing the glass. Copper foil method is also called the blank method. And final question. The soldering iron heats up to blank degrees. All right, can I collect everyone's? I cut my finger somehow. Hit the go. Oh. All right, so here's what happened. Three people tied for first, two people tied for last, so we have to do a tiebreaker round. So the tiebreaker question well, for top two and the last one is, what is the name of this piece of glass in the middle of your piece? I knew that that was gonna be the question. I think only one person thinks they know what it is. Let me see. Nice, Mackenzie, you won! Yes. So Mackenzie, you automatically get the top point. We still need a tiebreaker, so to determine who gets the other point, I'm gonna have Michelle and David play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! I still freaking lose. You're at negative one, Michelle, you're at one. Average. Jake and Ben play rock, paper, scissors to see who gets negative one. Well, I'm just gonna do scissors or something. Wait, Jake, do you think Ben's telling the truth? I don't know! Stop putting more pressure on me, I really had to pee! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! Mackenzie is number one with four points. Ben comes in second. Michelle, Jake, you guys tied for third with one point. Yay! And David, you came in last with negative one point. Ooh. Good job, David. Yay! Mackenzie, in the next video, you get an hour of help from Catherine. Ben, you get half an hour of help from Catherine. Whose help do I get? Wait, you get a lesson from me. We're going swimming in the middle of the day. Oh my God! In the next video, you guys will be able to create any stained art glass piece you guys want. Yay! There's gonna be $10,000 on the line. And Mackenzie, for your prize, you get to pick one piece that Catherine has made and I'll buy it for you. Mommy's going shopping. <laughs> the sun is also so pretty. Now it's definitely gotta be the moth. You said 1200 for that one? Yes. All right, Mackenzie, I'll buy you that $1,200 art piece. Oh, oh, whoa. Was that the first time in Kraft's history? I don't think I've ever hugged Mackenzie before. Mackenzie's too happy right now to care. David, it's gonna look so good in our apartment. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Goodbye.
You just press the goat. Uh, the class is scary, but so fun. We are zooming. What is that? It's so straight, guys.